This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm. For car accidents and negligent security cases, call Joe at 239-337-1191. And by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live. We're here at the Children's Network of Southwest Florida, nestled on the Caloochahatchee River. We're on West First Street and on uh, the River District in Fort Myers. And I must apologize. I should have had him on the show a long time ago, so I'm glad I'm getting it done now. I've done close to 15,000 interviews and I uh, want to welcome Dana Carr here, the president of the Florida International Air Show. Why that word international? Well, we have this year, for example, we have a Russian MiG jet coming. We also have a British vampire jet coming. So that kind of brings the international flavor to the air show. Ah, I see. What's a vampire jet? It looks like a vampire? Vampire jet was the first jet of the World War II era. It's literally a flying museum piece, and really? it was called a vampire because it kind of snuck up on you. Ah, okay. How did you first get into all of this? Well, I'm actually a pilot, and I have a business at the Punta Gorda Airport. I've been at all of the 38 air shows. This will be our 38th air show. So I was there for the first air show. I like to tell people I was two years old at the time, but all that's right. not quite true. But it's been a part of me, a part of my family, my business for all these years. What has changed since the first one, the major changes since the first one, and now? Well, the first air show was kind of a surprise. We got the, a group of, of business people, community leaders, were able to attract the Blue Angels to come. It was a one-day air show. It was put together as a community event. And it has grown over the years from a community event to a regional event. We attract attendees from Marco Island to Tampa Bay. And actually last year we had 10,000 people arrive from other parts of the state. Mm, so major this, impact on Southwest This is a Florida. major financial impact, $4.2 million to the Charlotte County and re local region. Mm -hmm. And of course, all of our proceeds go to charity. And I would think that, uh, well, I didn't know all your proceeds go to charity, of course, yes. but uh, I would think too with the hotel space, you may even some other hotels outside of Charlotte County may benefit as well. Yes, we actually attributed last year audited to 2,200 room nights and hotels in Southwest Florida. And as I said, all proceeds do go to charities. I'm a volunteer as 300 people that help put on the air show volunteer their time. And uh, to date, we've done a little better than $3 million to local charities. Outstanding. Uh, the, the, the what can people, uh, you got a special exhibit coming up. Let's make sure we talk about the what, when, and where on that. Well, this year, one of my favorite guest performers will be a P-51 Mustang. But more importantly, this is the Red Tail Mustang. It's a part of the Tuskegee Air, Airman legend. And they are bringing along with that aircraft the Rise Above exhibit. And we we're going to have that display for two days prior to the air show at the Port Charlotte Town Center Mall. And that'll be free for anyone to come to. It's a 53-foot theater that people can actually go in, watch a film about the history of the Tuskegee Airmen, and then actually fly in the P-51 Mustang, have that feeling of a panoramic view really? of going on a flight in a P-51 Mustang. And it is awesome. It's a great experience. And as I said, they can come to the Port Charlotte Town Center Mall and see it for free. They can also come to the air show and it'll be on display and they can witness it there at the air show as well. Give those dates for each one. Okay, for the Town Center, it is October 17th and 18th, Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday, it'll relocate to the airport. That's October 19th. We have a Friday night show, Saturday and Sunday show. So they can come and see at any of those locations. Now explain to me the actual flying, uh, the feeling of flying in that, is it a module or well, is it a theater like uh, when you theater. go and see the Grand Canyon or something, they take you to a theater and you feel like you're really on the Grand right, Canyon? Right, that's very descriptive, that's an excellent description. Basically it's a panoramic view and you sit and you watch the film and at, at the end of the film you feel they show footage of riding in the cockpit with the, the captain and you feel the, him going through the loops and the the barrel rolls and all of that exciting thing that you just can't imagine the feeling I'm looking of. forward to doing that myself. Yes. Now that sounds wonderful. The children will enjoy it as well, right? Oh, yes. A matter of fact, there's a special message in this Rise Above exhibit for the young people. Okay. And we're really promoting that. We would like 
for grandparents to bring their grandchildren, for parents to bring their, their children, because there is a message in there for everyone, young and old alike. We have some contact information appearing on the screen throughout the interview, but go ahead and verbally say it as well for my radio show. Okay, well, we would like them to go to floridaairshow.com, and there they can pre-purchase tickets. They can also link to the Tuskegee Airmen website and learn a lot about this great organization. And you'll be happy to know that many years ago, I got a chance to interview some Tuskegee Airmen with their red jackets yes. on. They were down here for a, a gala, and that was like the highlight of my life. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, the Tuskegee Airmen in general, the, uh, the movie that came out and all the other things surrounding them, how has that increased the demand and the interest in the exhibits? Well, anytime you can get the word out, it's a good thing. The movie was excellently done. Uh, Cuban did a, a, a beautiful job in that portrayal of the Airmen. And it touches our community a lot because we actually had a Tuskegee Airman that was born and raised in Punta Gorda and he went on to serve honorably. And they got an exhibit on him at the Blanchard House yes, Museum of yes. African American uh, in, uh, in, in, in Port Charlotte. I'm sure yeah. they'll be happy for me to mention that on air, Martha. Yes, uh, not, not only do, did the Bailey family produce a Tuskegee Airman, but they actually sent seven men to serve honorably. That was pretty good. Final question, who else will be performing in the air show? We have a great performer lineup. As I mentioned, we have the MIG jet, we have a, the Vampire jet, Redline Aerobatics is coming in, and they do a fantastic show, especially the Friday night show. They actually have pyrotechnics fireworks shooting off the wings of their aircraft. It's phenomenal. The Friday night show is a discounted show. It's only $15 in advance. We keep our prices very, very family friendly, and there are a lot of discounts available online. And for your viewers, we have a special discount Good. that we've set up. If they would go to floridaairshow.com, and use the code LPL, Lee Pitts Live, they can receive 15% off of their general admission ticket. You guys heard that. Go ahead and take that, that advantage of that 15% 15, 15 off? 15% 15 off, courtesy of Lee Pitts Live. All right, LPL, folks. Well, man, uh, I'm, hopefully I can get my television show out there. Uh, maybe not at this one, but in the future, I'll try to make it to this one. And I'm certainly going to come up there and uh, be a part of the, all the festivities, okay? Excellent. Thank you Let's so much. Let's bump you out. Keep up the good work. Thank you. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Dana and all the fine people who are associated with the Florida International Air Show. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production.